on that possession. The steal by Momore. Johnson quickly to the basket. First field goal for the Hoyas, and it's now a one-point game. Govan quick on the turnaround. Tapped up, and Struess lost it. Govan recovers. Here's Pickett with a strong move, and he gets it to fall. Nice job by Pickett, being strong with the ball. Govan and Johnson trying to play the same game for Georgetown. Pickett from three. Johnson flying in, but had it stripped by Roberts. Roberts finding Reed down low. Nice job by Roberts, pushing the pace in. Trey Dickinson in the game. He had missed a game with a concussion. Graduate transfer. And the handoff missed and the steal for Mosley. And Mosley the easy two and he's fouled. Yeah, that was just a nice read by Mosley. Hoyas continue to struggle from three-point range. One for eight. Kane on the pull-up. And Reed with the follow. The Georgetown is not organized on defense. By the Blue Demons. This triple drive offense by DePaul has been really effective. Govan with the block. He's third in the Big East in that category. And the nice feed for Blair, but at the other end, Cyrus with a rejection of his own. Here's Reed, who's been effective off the bench so far. Kane over Derrickson. Third three-pointer of this first half for Eli Kane. To Reggie Miller or Chris Mullen, always on the move. Comes up short on the three, and Pickett, although he lost his man, pulls down the rebound. Govan, the turnaround. And Derrickson tips it out, but nobody there, and it's an easy one for Struess, who leaves nothing to chance. No court balance for Georgetown. Largest lead of the game for DePaul was 12 in the first half. It's at nine right now, after leading by just four at the break. And here's Kane with the rebound. And that one a little behind Marich. And Derrickson slow getting back for Johnson. Nicely done by Caleb Johnson. Well, that was a big time athletic move by Johnson, who. Derrickson double teamed in the post. Now he picks up his dribble and having trouble finally finds Walker. Walker lost it. Still loose, finally corralled by Cyrus. Another nice job with the double team and the scrambling rotation. As Kane continues to create havoc that time. Quick first step. Quick pass for Pickett in the corner. And Pickett knocks down the three-pointer. And Dave Lato calls for time. And that's that pace we're talking about. When Mosley gets the rebound on the outlet, he's looking to push. A 13-0 run for Georgetown. They make an adjustment defensively and put Reed on Mosley now. Derrickson for three, and the Hoyas are back in front by two. He now That's has the momentum of the Hoyas. He now has 20. Derrickson thought about the three. And Derrickson uses the glass. And the Hoyas go back up by two. from three. Short, tipped up and in by McCallum. Patrick Ewing talked about the emphasis on rebounding. And if that doesn't work, go to Govan. Also a rebounder in case doesn't miss. The screen by Govan out for Derrickson who hits from three. I like this. Hold it for one. Control your own destiny. DePaul down by one. Inside 10. Kane on the fadeaway and hits again. Well, still time now. No timeouts left. Big time shot by Kane. Let's see if Mosley can create something off the bounce. More than enough time to make a play. Mosley for the win. In and out. And the rebound by Marsh. And the three-game skid is over for DePaul, which barely escapes with a one-point victory, 74-73.
Well, we talked about Eli Kane and how important it was for him to be aggressive. He certainly got the message, a big-time game by the junior 